Hey everybody, this is Twyin Game here. Thank you so much for coming back to this episode. This is part two of Hotel Empire Tycoon. Today we are gonna go over all the ins and outs of the game, as well as some tips and tricks that I have found in the game to show you. I can't wait and let's get started. Okay, so as you can see here, I started the game and because I was already playing, this screen pops up, it says welcome back. Now sometimes there'll be like a little loady thing here, uh, right where the blue uh, profit times two is. If you just wait for the circle thing to finish loading, it'll come up with an advertisement. You just click on it, an advertisement will play and then it'll show when you get out of the advertisement that it goes plus and then the same amount again. Now this is kind of crucial that if you click the exit button too early, you won't actually get the promotion of the times two. So sometimes I wait like a little extra, like two to five seconds after the X shows up. And uh, I haven't really had that problem except for on one ad video. All right, so we're gonna start with the top left. So on the top left here, we have the money that I have the amount of power that I have to the amount of power that I can have, I'm at max right now, and the amount of diamonds that I have, which is 20. Then it tells us what time it is and the activity of my workers. Click on the time and it'll tell you when your workers are starting and stuff. Actually, there's a little moon here. If I click on it, I can start an ad video and I'll get instant sunrise. All right, so as you can see, it's instant sunrise. Everybody is waking up, coming out of their hotel rooms, and then they're all gonna go for breakfast. Now, I don't know if I have enough chefs. Let's see how many people end up in line. I am just gonna quickly add a chef here. There we go. Now only one person's waiting. That'll be fine. All right, back to what we're doing. I'm gonna start with the left side. Now, as you can see, my housekeeper starts soon. My cooks will finish soon. Always, always make sure that you have enough money to pay for their wages. If you don't, they will quit on you and it costs more money to rehire them than it is just to keep paying their wages. Now, if you look at the bottom left-hand side here, you'll actually see promotions. These are all the promotions that they have going on right now. And then you have the shopping cart where you can actually buy diamonds if you would like to, or gems, I guess they call them. And then we are going to turn over to the top right. Now, as you can see, we have the stars of how popular my hotel is. Basically, that's like when you're upgrading, it'll slowly get larger and larger to as many stars. If I actually click on my hotel button, I can bring you to the other hotel that I have before this one. Now, the thing about the hotels is they make their own money. Even though I'm the owner of both, uh, I, I can't share the money between them. So that, to me, is a downside. So as you can see, this one is four stars and like making five stars. I have upgraded everything to max on this hotel, except for uh, buying a couple of things that cost diamonds. I have bought a couple of things that cost diamonds already, like uh, if I move over one hotel here, because I just pressed the over button, I bought the chair and the iPad or the tablet for this room. And I believe I did that for another room I bought a tablet for. Now, because I have this one pretty much all upgraded already, I have no reason to use this guy here, so no thank you. And then we have the tip jar, we're on this one, it's here, and I will go back to my main hotel, because this is the one I wanna keep an eye out for, because this is the one that I'm working on right now, so that I can get to the next one. The tip jar is actually just above the fireplace here, right there. All right, the next thing is, special managers. With special managers, it actually, you can only get them during events. I haven't played this game long enough to notice any events so that I could get them, but it would have been kind of cool if I could have. Then just below that is the stats button. 
With the stats button, you can see the accommodations profits, service profits, and parking profits, as to the amount of wages and advertising costs that I am paying for right now. Now with this one, what I would strongly suggest is taking the wages and advertising costs, seeing how much it is together, and always having that much in your cash so that you don't accidentally not have enough for wages or the advertisements when the time comes because you don't want your people quitting on you. From this tab, I can actually just go over and see the employees. So front desk, in, uh, housekeeping, restaurant, bar. I don't have a spa yet or a ski hill. I'm getting there, okay. And this is advertisements. I just have it on the lowest advertisement right now because my hotel is still always full, but I just have advertisement on right now so that uh, people can actually park and then leave because they don't have uh, a room. <laughs> so they still have to pay for parking. And then we have the buildings, which I have all the single and double rooms and I only have one suite right now. Now, as you can see, everything costs energy. I don't have enough. So let's, ooh, tip jar. Let's jump over here. This is my power room. And let's upgrade this baby. And it was a mission, so now I got 25 gems. Which is really nice. I find that this game is really generous with their gems. So that you can actually get like one or two things in each hotel. Like I've already gotten in my restaurant. I bought both of the bottom things here. In my bar, I bought the thing that costs gems here. Uh, I bought the unicorn head for this one. It also costs gems. So now that I have enough energy, I got 30 extra energy when I bought that. I'm just gonna quickly do this video here. Woohoo, money. All right. So if you see the bottom left here, we have the achievements. I've clicked the achievement button, but it stops recording, so I can't show you. Then it also has the settings, as well as the watch and add for times two. So I'll just show you how that works. As you can see, it adds 10 more minutes every time you watch a video, and you can go up to two hours at a time. If you're off your phone and your game will play for idle, it'll actually only do it for two hours, but I usually get a notification telling me that my hotel is closed or a notification telling me that my times two profit is up as well so that you can go back in quickly and just open up your hotel again or just go back in quickly, watch a couple of videos so your times two keeps working. And then we have this one here, which is advertisements. It's just another way to get to it and you can still get to everything from there or you can run all the way over here where the guy at the beginning at part one was showing. It'll bring you to buildings and you can still get to everything from there. So there's a lot of ways to get into that and it is pretty easy. Now the one thing I actually forgot to show you guys is missions. So right now it says increase the number of suites to two, build a spa and build a ski slope. Now, if you see how much spa and ski slope is, that is a lot of dinero. So hopefully I get this guy right here, giving me lots of dinero so that I can get there quickly, but I'll probably build one more suite first so that I can keep upgrading. Now, if you wanna upgrade something like the restaurant or the rooms, you just, all you have to do is click on it. It'll give you the options to click on to upgrade. So I'm looking at this and it's going to It'll show you where they're gonna be placed. And I'm actually clicking the ones closest to the door because that way they have a shorter distance to walk. So as soon as they sit down, they start um, eating so that they're actually out quicker. It's a little tip or trick. Let's just upgrade this to max because I did buy another chef. And then also down here, we have uh, food costs. Now it does show you how much more profit you'll be getting if you do that. So. This one would be plus $2, plus $1.50. This one's already at max. So these are the only two that I can upgrade now. I'm just maxing them out for you guys. <laughs> just for you guys. All right. So now everything's maxed in the kitchen. Oh wait, hold on. All right, now everything's maxed in the kitchen. 
So if you look at the top just under the word restaurant, I'm getting 77.5 uh, every time someone eats a meal. Now I have a lot of people that would eat a meal, so that's actually a lot of money. Let's just go to the morning. Oh my gosh, someone's shoveling outside right now. It's really loud. All right, so um, what I am going to do for you guys is show you how to hire. And then this is the next stage because um, this is the second one. This one says printer. The printer speeds up administrative tasks. I'm not 100% sure what that is. It doesn't actually see anything that explains that. So unfortunately, that is sad for me. Administrative tasks are at max. That's pretty much it for the game, except for the only other tip I would suggest is to watch your staff because sometimes they can't fully complete a task. So you'll see people walk away if they're angry because they didn't have, there wasn't enough staff. So like if they wait in line too long, they'll walk away and then they'll have like little red flashy thing, angry because uh, they had to wait too long. This is a interesting one is if your cleaners don't clean by one o'clock I believe they start walking back and uh, the rest of the room stay dirty Then a little sweeping button will pop up and then you can watch an ad to finish all the cleaning at once so that they're not dirty rooms I believe that's everything I need to show you guys today except for if you click on the cars There's parking this would be to speed up people coming through, and then this would be to add parking stalls. Parking stalls. There, I maxed out my parking stalls, see? So now everyone's gonna come in to look for a hotel room and none of them are gonna get it because there's just no room for them. All right, everybody, uh, that is it for the game. This is Twy in game. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me through these hard times. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell. This is Twy in game. Twy out.